Hey guys, uh, welcome to uh, my new Minecraft survival series. Uh, I am Necrophilius. Uh, you may also know me by some other names like Oryxy. Um, but we're going to be starting out in a new kind of winter region all the way out here in the middle of nowhere. Um, let's just go over and start making some wood while we talk about our plants. So uh, for those of you who are kind of unaware, uh, I did make a kind of episode zero for the series. Um, but the plan for this series is quite simple. Um, I've played on this world for, I'd say, 4,000, 5,000 hours at this point. Um, everything I've built is basically at spawn, uh, world spawn, like zero, zero. And as you can tell, we're all the way out here, around 20,000 blocks or so. Uh, yeah, so you're probably wondering, hey, if you've already done stuff on this world, why are you out here? Why do you have nothing? Well, see, all my old builds have been kind of focused around, uh, just functionality, you know? I built large farms, uh, you know, massive iron farms, uh, Things for kind of like Shulk and stuff like that. Like, I've just done all these farms, but they all look so bad, you know? So lately, I've been wondering, hey, you know, I want to kind of start over and actually do something beautiful. So we're going to be out here in the Arctic, uh, doing our survival series, uh, try to make things look good. All right. So after a little bit of uh, tree mining, we have a bunch of logs here. Uh, take a look at the nearby area and... Uh, I think just from the start, I do notice a bunch of caves around here. Um, <laughs> I'm recording this at a later date, of course. And as I look back on this, I do recall uh, noticing that like this is massive underground system here. Uh, I was considering going in there, but then I realized uh, there were a ton of mobs down there. And given that I am on hard difficulty, uh, you know, something tells me I don't really want to get destroyed by mobs, you know? So I'm just out here crafting a wooden pickaxe, and as usual, uh, wooden pickaxe, stone pickaxe, you know how it goes. So enough with a bunch of cobblestone, I'm like considering, you know, actually building like a mini base here uh, for a starter house. But one of the things I wanted to do for the series is actually, you know, like I, I all, for all my previous playthroughs, I've built kind of like a cave base, you know, uh, the, the classic find a, find a cliff, find a mountain, dig a hole in it, call that your base. I've done that for pretty much every playthrough. Um, so what I want to do during this one is challenge myself. I want to build above ground structures. Oh, hey, I've got some iron here. This is probably gonna be the first piece of iron that we're gonna have. <laughs> but, you know, we'll pick up more as we go mining uh, at a later date. Uh, one of the things I kind of made a mistake about was, uh, if you notice uh, the time here in the top left, uh, yeah, that's not good. Uh, because when I made this uh, world, when I came out here, I didn't come here at the early morning. I came here like midday. So as you'll notice soon, uh, while I'm getting, you know, making a furnace, starting to get iron, and just upgrade my tools. Uh, I do realize uh, it's gonna start being night soon. Uh, so at this point, I'm kind of considering, you know, actually kind of making a base here. Uh, but, you know, I haven't really made up my mind. So after this, kind of just take a look at the nearby area and see uh, what's around here. I'm not going over there. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll have to see what happens. Oh, here's some pumpkins. I'm not sure if pumpkins can be made into any food really easily. I think pumpkin pie requires sugar. Um, but I don't think, I don't think there's anything that could go wrong with grabbing these. Might as well. Uh, we'll see what happens actually. I want to go over there. Um, I can't make a bucket yet, but I do want to check out what's over there. Here's a giant cave, but I, yeah, I think it's filled with mobs. I do not want to know what happens if I were to go down there and get kind of dumpstered by mobs. Uh, I'd rather that not happen right now. So play with these douche shaders, I actually don't really know. Like, it just feels different. Ooh, copper. Uh, I'll take it. Can I even mine it? Oh, I can. Ooh. I feel like I'm gonna fall if I jump over there. I'm gonna fall anyways. Ooh, hopefully I don't take damage. Oh, crap. Oh, whoa. What is this? Oh my goodness, this is so scuffed. Holy crap, there's so many mobs down there. Uh, no. I leave. <laughs> Defeated male leaves. Holy crap. Uh, that's way too scuffed for me. Yeah, I've. I'm not really used to these kind of things. Oh, whoa. This ice looks cool. Alright, uh, I think I saw some. Oh, that's copper. Uh, I don't see any iron over here. Is the sun already starting to set? Holy crap. Uh, oh, that's not great. Uh, oh, that's not great. That's not great at all. Uh, ooh. Well, I guess I will be digging a hole in a wall. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I really don't want to be out here in the middle of the night with uh, a bunch of stuff on hard mode. 
I I do not in <laughs> I don't want to see what my chances are with that. So let's just dig a hole in the wall, and I don't even have wood. I mean, I have wood, but I don't have coal. So we'll have to kind of pray that there is uh, some coal here. After a little more exploration, uh, it's well, it's <laughs> it's night time. Uh, and I literally, I break my own, I break my own promises and I go and uh, dig a hole in a mountainside uh, right across the frozen river from spawn. Uh, as you can see, I've already done a bit of work down these mines, uh, went pretty far down, but I wasn't able to find any coal. So I decided, you know, I mine wherever a torch is so I have light. And uh, what do you know, I I find coal because, yeah, that's ask you shall receive, I guess. It's not that many pieces, um, but I mean, it's super convenient. Uh, you can see uh, I was literally right there. Uh, a little later on, I go down uh, all the way to the bottom of that staircase, and I do find uh, a small cave system here uh, with a bunch of iron ore. Uh, I do want to make an iron farm uh, in the pretty <laughs> in the near future, but I do need to actually start with an actual base. Uh, if I want to make an iron farm, I need villagers, uh, so I have to work on that later. But that's for the future. I do notice as we're coming up here to look at this lava flow that I do see what looks like a mine shaft uh, across from this lava here, and a bit of lapis. Now, something I've kind of like haven't had much experience with is like just because I've played on a uh, long time world for a while, uh, I've had pretty much everything. Uh, like I have netherite, I have diamond, I have enchanted stuff, right? Like you don't realize how dangerous stuff is and like how happy you get over the, the smallest things, right? Like, you know, when you have everything, you get iron ore, you're like, oh, okay, cool, iron ore, right? But when you're down here, you know, just slowly making your way through a cave, it's like, oh my goodness, you're so vulnerable all of a sudden and it's kind of crazy. So as I'm kind of looking up here, I do hear, I think, spider sounds. Yeah, I do hear some spider sounds here. Uh, and as you can immediately tell, I don't I don't really like that. So I'm playing really careful here because remember, I have a hard difficulty. I have no armor. And cave spiders, if they hit me once, I'm going to be destroyed. So here I am, kind of just clearing out this, trying to find out exactly where those sounds are coming from. Uh, as it turns out, uh, I mean, my suspicions are correct. It is literally right up here. And as I get closer, I can hear the sounds getting even louder. Uh, and you'll kind of hear my own reaction. Oh crap, it is a spider spawner. Uh, uh huh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I don't like the situation I'm in. And there's more of them. Oh great. Uh. Yeah, no, I leave. Uh huh. Yeah, uh, about that. Huh. Yeah, uh, I'll be back. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. That is not what I wanted to see. I was so excited for a mineshaft, and then, uh, immediately there was a sp spawner right there. Like, dude, I have nothing. I have no armor. <laughs> oh, I should have made some armor. Dude, I have no armor. I have a stone axe and a shield. Uh, yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> Yeah, as you can see, another spider has spawned, and uh, yeah, no, I was not sticking around to find out how much damage you do. A single spider hit me once, and look, I'm three hearts. Uh, this is not great. Hard difficulty, I can actually die to these guys very easily. So yeah, once I get to the surface, uh, it is indeed, uh, daytime. Um, I go out, I spend the day looking for food, and I come back at around, uh, well, when starts the sun starts to set. I think something you immediately notice is, uh, I'm kind of scared right now. Because as I've kind of looked around, I realized earlier I did saw pillagers. Uh, and as you can see, my, my, uh, I'm everybody out of food, and that's not going to be good. Uh, if there's one thing you know, uh, I do not like to be a starving man. Uh, a man with no HP, a man with no food is a very sad man. So I rush my way all the way back to that cave. And uh, yeah, tuck myself inside. I did manage to find a few cows there. We have, we have a supply of coal, got some beef. So I mean, I did manage to get some food for the time being. Uh, after I kind of get geared up here, I have, you know, actual some armor, uh, because, you know, I have this ironing that's mined out from earlier, uh, I do go down and, uh, give that cave another look. And, uh, as I get back to the mineshaft, there of is, of course, another cave spider. And, uh, I hate these things. Like, I swear. They hit you once, and you're just poisoned until you're, like, 5 HP. And it's basically, there's not much you can do about it. You just take damage. So one thing you immediately notice is, uh, look, I have a lava bucket. And, uh, while I normally I actually run around with a water bucket, uh, what I realized is uh, lava does a ton of damage, I'm not sure if you're aware, but uh, what you can do with it is whenever you see a mob uh, or a spawner, you can drop it on the ground and you will annihilate any mobs in the area. So what I'm going to start doing here is I'm actually going to clear out a bit of this tunnel, so you know if I'm backtracking and trying to get away from these spiders, I don't get stuck against the, 
a pillar. That would suck. So what I'm going to go down here is I'm going to start clearing this out using lava. As you can see, when the spider comes, he is kind of stuck and he just dies. Uh, the only thing I forgot uh, is uh, lava sets things on fire, as you'll notice in a few seconds. You can see to my top left. Oh, what the? Oh my goodness. I completely forgot about it setting blocks on fire. Um, which I really know I should have known, because like, duh. So this is really good. Uh, one of the things I love about mine shafts, especially in early levels, is one, chest, obviously, right? Who doesn't love a chest, you know what I mean? Uh, but also, just the fact that there's a ton of wood here. Uh, and if you do find any spawners, you have the option of converting it into what is essentially kind of like XP grinder. Uh, but for personal reasons, I actually don't like uh, running spider spawners. Uh, especially for cave spider spawners, you know they're only about like, I think half a block tall? Or it might even be a fourth. Uh, but they're very, very, very small. So what's kind of annoying about them is, if you ever want to make a grinder, the the area where you actually have to hit them is going to be very, very narrow. Um, but also they're just annoying because when you're building it, they just do this. Like they run up to you, they smack you, they bite you, and you're poisoned, and uh, life sucks, and yeah, everything is tragic, man. So you can see how absolutely careful I am about this. I don't really like uh, these, spawn these, these spawners at all. So you can see how many torches I've been playing to actually like just make sure that uh, they're not going anywhere, they're not going to be spawning. But of course, they do end up spawning in the ceiling. And as you can see, I am caught off guard by more of these guys. And I swear, if this guy hits me one time, I'm basically dead. So you can see I'm just holding my shield the entire time. Oh, which is something you'll notice. I don't actually use a shield for most of my playthroughs. So what you'll notice immediately is that I seem really uncomfortable with using shields. I don't use them basically as much as I should, uh, nor as well as I should. But it doesn't really matter because Lava Bucket is OP. And soon enough, we take care of all these spiders. And uh, we've claimed ourselves a nice chest here. So uh, I'll take a look and see what's in the chest, and uh, light up the nearby area. So let's see, in the chest, sometimes they have something good. I'd say the biggest thing I, I like from these chests is, I think there's a chance that they give you uh, diamonds, but also enchanted books, uh, but also name tags. If you don't have villagers, name tags are very, very important. Uh, but also gold, gold is really useful like later on, um, especially when you don't have a gold farm. So I go around lighting up the rest of these things, and I do find one of these chests, a Bane of the Arthropods 5 book. Uh, I do eventually just uh, grindstone this just to get a book because I didn't have leather. Uh, I threw all my leather away. Uh, yeah, and as I come along here to kind of like check out this ravine in the area, something catches me off guard. Guard. Arrow hits. Oh, heck. Ow. Oh my goodness. Uh huh. I forgot skeletons hit that hard. Yeah, I'm not exactly a big fan of uh, getting jump scared by skeletons. And uh, as this thing really just fell out of nowhere, I didn't even see it when I was focused on uh, just mining some wood. Um, after this encounter, I do run back to a furnace I left out in the middle of these, uh, this mine shaft, and I had been smelting some iron while I was just exploring the area. So around this time, I decided, hey, you know what? I should probably gear up, so that way I don't get one shot, right? Right? Yeah, about that. I am just minding my own business uh, on the surface, just mining some coal and stuff. I found this little nice cave, I was just exploring the nearby area, um, and this happens. But because I haven't found any diamonds yet, that's a bit of a pickle. I might look for an ocean to try and find uh, ruins that way. Oh crap. Hmm. So yeah, that's our actual first death of the series. Uh, it takes me a little bit to make my way back over, especially because uh, I actually forgot to set my spawn here because uh, I, I didn't have a bed or anything, so I had to kind of <laughs> pull out some uh, teleportations to get us back to make sure I didn't have to walk 20,000 blocks to get back to this area. Uh, but yeah, once I get back here, uh, yeah, uh, this happened. How did I get back here? Well, I just kind of had a TP to where my first spawn was and then kind of just walk. Oh my goodness. Dude, what? Yeah, I have no idea how that thing get, like actually got there. Uh, I was literally not even paying attention. I just was sitting there collecting my items, minding my own business, and this guy just pops out. So at this point, I kind of realized, hey, look, I'm not very uh, welcome in this cave. Uh, so I go around, just light up the nearby area, and uh, I go to make my way out of here because, uh, you know, I need to start finding an actual place to make a base. Uh, but of course, since it's still daytime, I decide, oh, look, here's another creeper. <laughs> Never again. Anyways... 
uh, as you can see, this cave is obviously not very, uh, not very friendly. So I go and look for somewhere else to actually, you know, do some more mining, get actually, you know, further into the game. You can tell I've actually had no diamonds so far. Uh, <laughs> don't mind the zombie here. I am not very used to uh, PVE much. Uh, just a little confession, I have built a, what's kind of like a uh, mob switch, uh, back at world spawn with my rest of my bases. So I actually haven't had to deal with any hostile mobs for, uh, very long time actually. So everything's here is catching me off guard. Oh, there's a large cave down here. Uh, and I don't realize this until much later, but this actually connects into a large cave near my eventual uh, base. Uh, but as the night is starting to set, uh, I do rush back over to this new cave system I found. Uh, I thought this would go a lot deeper than the previous one. Uh, but I imagine my disappointment when I walk into here and it's literally just this. But, you know, uh, we are bound to get lucky in some ways. Uh, wasn't able to find diamonds, but I did manage to find that this, it did go down. It went down a lot further than I expected. Uh, in fact, there's this massive cave underneath here. But I did have an issue because I couldn't really get down there. Uh, you'll notice I don't have a water bucket. I'm obviously not going to jump down there. So uh, I started looking for a way to mine down there. Uh, and for a little bit, I did basically just that. All right, after a little while though, uh, I started digging around in that giant cave I had found. Uh, and I did manage, I did realize there was a ton of skeleton noises coming from a nearby area. So I just dug towards the noises. Uh, because here's a pro tip for all those, uh, those of you who are kind of new to the game. Uh, if you are ever, ever underground and you hear a ton of noises from just one type of mob, uh, especially like spiders, zombies, skeletons, if you hear a ton of those noises, uh, chances are there is probably going to be a dungeon nearby. Uh, or in the case of spiders, uh, cave spiders, it might be a uh, mine shaft. So in this case, I'm just looking around, and yeah, what do you know? I spot it, just a little bit of cobblestone, and the fact that I hear only skeleton noises uh, tells me that this is probably a skeleton spawner. Uh, so at the time, I'm not really sure what to make of this, because you know, I might set up base here, but for the moment, I'm just collecting stuff, making sure I'm more geared. Um, I do want to finish exploring the rest of this cave here. Uh, just. You know, I want diamonds. <laughs> I'm a very simple man. I want diamonds. Uh, but since I have a lava bucket, clearing all this stuff out is very simple. Uh, I don't have the best in terms of food, but you know, lava bucket does you know does the job. It does it really well. And as you can see, the entire room is cleared out. And you'll actually notice I'll be using this trick uh, quite a bit using a lava bucket, especially when I don't want to jump down in there because you know I am not really armored. Uh, I don't really have anything up. So you know, I get into the cave. This is a single skeleton. Right. So as I go into this dungeon, it is relatively small, but I mean, dungeons generate in like a random uh, rate of sizes. Uh, I do realize that they drop bows, which is very, very useful, uh, especially when I don't really want to walk up into any mob range. Uh, this is, remember, this is a hard difficulty. I really don't want to get blown up again. Uh, so here I am just like collecting a few arrows. I did manage to find some dripstone from earlier. Uh, that was connected to the previous mine shaft. Uh, but other than that, I'm just basically, you know, looting the area, and then I want to go back and uh, finish mining out that cave. I, I do want diamonds. Um, it's very important for me that I get enchanting, because for those of you who really aren't aware, uh, getting like an enchanted, like uh, any sort of armor really is really, really nice. Uh, so as I'm back exploring the cave, I'm looking up, I realize a bunch of this area is like not really lit, uh, especially the area up there. Yeah, it's, I think that area remains like unlit for <laughs> most of this playthrough actually. And a bunch of mobs actually end up spawning up there. Uh, but as I'm coming down here, trying to get deeper, trying to find diamonds, again, I hear a ton of skeleton noises. Uh, as you know, since I have my headphones on, I'm just literally just trying to figure out where they're coming from. Uh, it sounds like they're coming from this direction. So, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Where's it down? Yeah, in case you're wondering, I always get sus when I hear this much skeleton noise. I feel like most things I see are- oh! Oh, it's a spawner! How do I light this up? Oh gosh! Oh, good old, old reliable. Oh. That's not old reliable, that's old me getting shot. Alright, eat this. This is my favorite way to clear out spawners, honestly. Because it's so easy to do. Oh. Wait, there's so many. Okay, we just wait for 
about to clear. Oh my goodness. It should burn, no? Oh my goodness. Alright, that's not a point to that. Ah, uh, yes. Dark to lava. Wait. There's two spawners. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, this is gonna take a little bit to clear out then. This will take a while. Ow. Okay, I can mine into the spawner from here. Oh. I can't mine into the spawner from there. It's a funny man. Oh, my pickaxe is about to break. Oh, that's not the spawner. That's the spawner. Are they just chilling there? Okay, let me craft another pickaxe. Um, okay, this is really good. If they're both skeleton spawners, which I think they might be, then we are in luck. Holy crap. Um, do I have enough iron? 19 iron. Okay, here's another iron pickaxe. And I'll turn these into torches. Oh wait, stacks. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, wait a minute. This could be so good. And some kind of forest to build a base around here. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. Oh my goodness, my HP is gone. Oh, he has an enchanted bow. Uh. Yeah, about that. Uh. Uh huh. That's not good. It's very bad for my health. Oh my goodness. Did I at least get a spell? Oh, it's on the ground. What, what bow is this? Oh my goodness, this durability is kind of goofed. Power, too. Okay, I will take that. Okay, we hop in here. Then I take this bucket. I drop it in here. We take. Oh! He sees me. Wait, what? I have my shield up. What is shield, man? Oh my goodness. So that is a double skeleton spawner. Okay, this is crazy. Make sure I don't get ganked. I almost walked right into that lava. Wait, it's a double skeleton so Yo! Two god apples. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. Wait, this luck is crazy. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> okay, okay. I don't need cobblestone. I'll get that here. I'm definitely gonna turn this into a Breath of Folly. Oh, we are set. We are set for life. Holy crap. Um, wait, I can combine my pickaxes. Wait, we are actually set for life here. I cannot believe this just happened. Oh my goodness. I mean, I did go down to one heart. <laughs> but, beetroot seeds, kind of useless string. I do want these extra arrows and bones. Oh, that's one downside of killing them with lava. You don't get any loot. I don't want gold ingots. I don't really care. I'll get redstone when I come out here later. Let me write down the cords for this place. Okay. Um, hmm. Wait, they're so close together. That I... Wait, are they lined up perfectly? Oh my god, wait, they're lined up perfectly. Okay, this is crazy. Uh. Yeah, that's crazy. So, yeah, after clearing out uh, these spawners, uh, I'm really surprised, like, especially the fact that they spawned uh, directly in a line. Like, I would. 
I would think they would, have, you know, maybe they'd be close, but I didn't think they'd be literally in a straight line. So what this does is immediately gives me an idea for uh, kind of like an underground, I call it a basement of sorts. Uh, you can see I've already dug up a little bit to try to figure out, you know, a way to get back to the surface. Uh, plot twist, I never actually got to the surface, ever. Um, I actually used nether portals. Uh, I, I, I was like, I'm too lazy to go up to the surface. I didn't have kelp. I did spawn, you know, in the Arctic. Um, so yeah, as I'm kind of just around here, I started coming up with ideas for, you know, what I wanted to build. Uh, for one, we're definitely going to be using these double spawners for XP farm. Uh, this might not be the most efficient, but it is very easy to build. It's very er like early game accessible. Now, I'll, I'll just kind of show you guys how, how it's made. Uh, it's not that complicated, actually. Uh, and what I'm planning to do down here is I'll probably set up, you know, like a simple villager trading hall just to get me, you know, into the game. Uh, even while I was doing all this mining and clearing out these nearby caves, I didn't find a single diamond. Uh, I guess my luck is actually just crap that way. Um, I can't get diamonds, but hey, I uh, did manage to get a uh, double spawner, which is crazy. Uh, I do realize, you know, I cleared out a bunch of spiders and all those, you know, all that strings, which means I do have access to a bed now. So for the first time, uh, I kind of set up camp in the strangest of places in a dungeon. I've literally never done this before. Uh, you know, I make my bed, I probably set my spawn, and then, yeah, that is... I think a good place to actually end this first episode here. Uh, what we've kind of done is kind of just get started, find a good place to set up, you know, an initial starter base, uh, and I'll start building this out uh, in upcoming episodes. Uh, but in the meantime, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, if you like, yeah, please like, subscribe, uh, join this channel. Uh, it's, I'm still really new to this. Uh, I'm just like a, you know, just doing this for a hobby, and uh, hope you support me. Thank you.